Okay, everybody, now that we have the juice shop deployed, uh, one of the first things we have to do is activate the scoreboard to see all the different challenges that may be available. Um, as you see in this instance of the juice shop, I have this scoreboard link right here. Uh, this is an old instance that's no longer active, but uh, within this particular juice shop, I was able to activate the scoreboard. I'm going to show everybody how to do that right now. Um, so let's start off here. I'm going to go to here um, and refresh my page here. And I accidentally just activated it like a big stupid jerk. <laughs> but that's okay. Let's uh, go ahead and just start off from the beginning. So the scoreboard is hidden. Um, if you left click over here and you haven't completed this challenge yet, uh, we're going to show you how to get it. So, for starters, uh, depending on what type of browser you are using, you're going to want to inspect the source code uh, using DevTools. Uh, DevTools is usually accessed by hitting the F12 key on your keyboard or by accessing your menu for your browser. In this example, I'm using the Firefox web browser. Um, and then you can easily find DevTools in More Tools. And you could do basically web developer tools. Or alternatively, like I said, most browsers just like uh, let you hit the F12 key. So I'm hitting the F12 key. So now that I am in um, the web development tools, um, inspecting code is usually one of the first things you do on any website just to see if there are any um, oddities or anything like that. You don't have to be a code master uh, to kind of figure out a lot of this stuff, but it does ha help to have a solid background in HTML and JavaScript uh, to, you know, figure out what you're looking at. Now, I will say this. Um, often, uh, well, I shouldn't say it, shouldn't, it doesn't really happen so much anymore, but in the early days of web applications, uh, there used to be different comments in the code. Uh, that would like maybe reveal things that really shouldn't be there. Maybe like an admin link or, uh, you know, sometimes like there's been known cases. And again, this is going back a long way where there was a type of like password that was defined because in the early days of web applications, nobody really anticipated any standard user uh, being able to open uh, the development tools and look at the source code or view the source. Uh, nowadays, it's pretty common practice. So. How do we find the scoreboard? Well, uh, much like kind of that example I was given earlier, uh, this there was no link with to the scoreboard on this web application. Um, so, you know, sometimes what happens is, you know, somebody will post something up on a web application, and then, you know, somebody goes, oh, no, take that down. We really shouldn't have it there. But it's still accessible in some format. You just don't find a link to it. Uh, so now what we're going to do is look for a link to the scoreboard. So to do this, I'm going to click on the debugger and I'm going to click on sources and I'm going to locate um, the main ES2018.js file. Okay, I'm going to double click on that. And then from there, I'm going to hit this little pretty print source. So this is going to take all this code that's here and well, make it a little more readable, hopefully. So now that I have that, um, what I can do is I could do a search for uh, basically the scoreboard. I know I'm looking for the scoreboard, so I'm going to do that now. I'm going to hit Control F to initiate the search function, and I'm going to type in score. Now, I can see references to the scoreboard here. But again, if you're just starting off, you're not going to see the scoreboard list anywhere. And that is one of the challenges. I'm going to work my way backwards, looking for each iteration of score. And what I'm looking for is basically uh, code that references router link. And router link, um, for those of you that kind of know web applications, um, is kind of like a... Uh, hreference tag, but you can't really use it directly in HTML. So um, it's basically a mapping to another site. And that's maybe an easy way to think of it. Um, so let's see if we can find anything that mentions routered link with a scoreboard tag.
So I'm going through and I'm working my way backwards. You could have worked your way forwards. Doesn't really matter. Again, we're just kind of looking. Oh, look at that. Open scoreboard. And we see that we have scoreboard here with a router link. So now what this is telling me is basically that uh, all I have to do is, hopefully, hit that. And now I have access to the scoreboard. If it's your first time accessing the scoreboard, you're going to see some little fireworks here. And you'll notice that you have a challenge completed, 1 out of 12. Okay? Um, to see all the different challenges uh, within this first level, you just click here if they're not already active. Okay? Our goal uh, throughout this course is to get through at least these first 12. Um, I challenge you to maybe go on later on and uh, find the higher levels, and they get d more difficult as the level goes up. Scrolling down, I see that I now have this solved. Um, and basically, it tells us it was a code analysis and a tutorial. Um, and if we click on here, it tells us basically, hey, find the scoreboard, right? So all good stuff there. Um, I'm going to close this. And that concludes your first challenge.